the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Thomas the Apostle, a meditation on doubt and faith. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Let the worries and distractions of your daily life drift away as you enter a space of tranquility and reflection. Today, we meditate on St. Thomas the Apostle, often remembered for his doubts but celebrated for his profound faith. Scripture reading, John 20, 24-29. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. After eight days again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believer. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. A Reflection Imagine yourself in the upper room where the disciples have gathered, the air thick with uncertainty and fear. Thomas, known for his practical and often skeptical nature, struggles with the news of Jesus' resurrection. His doubts are not a sign of weakness but a reflection of his deep desire for an authentic encounter with the risen Christ. Pause for a moment to consider the nature of doubt and faith in your own life. Reflect on times when you, like Thomas, have sought tangible proof of God's presence and action in your life. Doubt is often portrayed negatively, yet it can be a catalyst for a deeper, more resilient faith. As you sit in contemplation, imagine Jesus entering the room, offering peace and understanding, not condemnation. He invites Thomas to touch his wounds, an act of profound intimacy and revelation. Jesus does not rebuke Thomas for his doubts. Instead, he meets them with grace and patience, transforming skepticism into a moment of profound faith and declaration. Pause again to think about how Jesus addresses your own doubts. How does he reveal himself to you in personal and transformative ways? How can these moments of revelation strengthen your faith and deepen your relationship with him? Consider the declaration of Thomas, my Lord and my God. This profound acknowledgement of Jesus' divinity comes directly from his experience of doubt and personal encounter. Reflect on the transformative power of encountering Jesus in your moments of uncertainty. How can acknowledging your doubts lead you to a more profound and personal proclamation of faith? Reflect on the role of Thomas as an apostle after this encounter. Tradition holds that Thomas traveled far, even to India, to preach the gospel, his life marked by a fervent commitment to the Lord he once doubted. His journey teaches us that faith, once fully embraced, compels us to action, driving us to share the good news with others, even in the face of great challenges. Pause once more to pray for the intercession of St. Thomas. Ask for his guidance in embracing your doubts and transforming them into a deeper faith. Pray for the courage to seek Christ in all circumstances, and the grace to proclaim him as my Lord and my God in both word and deed. As you open your eyes and return to your daily activities, carry with you the example of St. Thomas. 
Let his journey from doubt to faith inspire you to embrace your own spiritual questions with courage. Allow your encounters with the divine to transform your understanding and strengthen your commitment to Christ. Let's pray. St. Thomas the Apostle, pray for us that we may embrace our doubts and seek the truth with courage. Help us to encounter Christ in all aspects of our lives and proclaim Him as our Lord and God with renewed faith and zeal. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.